Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning and happy Monday. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. I'm Cynthia Puga. Going into your top story sponsored by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. Surveillance footage shows the final hours of a woman allegedly killed by a former basketball player. Review Journal's Arlette Youssef has more. Chance Comanche and Sakari Harnden are charged with murdering 23-year-old Marina Rogers, whose body was found in December near a residential area in Henderson. Now surveillance footage of Rogers and her alleged killers is adding details to the timeline leading up to her death. According to grand jury transcripts, Comanche, a former pro basketball player, told a Metro detective he pretended to hire the victim as a sex worker, then tied her up in a car and helped strangle her with an HDMI cord. In an arrest report, police said Comanche also told officers that Harnden strangled Rogers. Comanche also allegedly told police Harnden and Rogers had a dispute over a Rolex watch. The two suspects are being held at the Clark County Detention Center without bail. Their next court date is March 28th. For Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm Arlette Youssef. USPS is offering up to $150,000 for information that leads to an arrest after a postal carrier was robbed. This happened around 11.15 a.m. on March 4th near Summerlin on the 11,000 block of Village Ridge Lane. Officials said electronic locks were being installed on mailboxes nationwide following a rise in crimes against carriers. Anyone with information is asked to contact Postal Service investigators at that number on your screen. The family of a 20-year-old woman who overdosed on fentanyl is now suing Snapchat, alleging the woman connected with a drug dealer over the social media platform. Las Vegas resident Aviana Kavanaugh died in March 2021 from fentanyl poisoning. She had purchased counterfeit pills containing the opioid from a Snapchat dealer later identified as Christopher Gonzalez. The lawsuit filed Wednesday alleged that Snapchat facilitates the sale of deadly drugs through the app's features, including disappearing messages, recommended content, and the quick ad feature. In weather sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. With temperatures starting to rise this week, pool season is upon us, so here are a couple of places you can chill in the sun and enjoy a good cocktail. Bellagio Pool Complex has undergone significant remodeling, including renovation of Como Poolside Cafe and Bar, where you can enjoy an April Spritz. Garden of the Gods Pool Oasis at Caesars Palace encompasses seven pools, day beds, and cabanas, and features a 21 and older pool. For the full list, you can visit lvrj.com forward slash entertainment. Moving on to your weather, sunny and a bit windy to start off your Monday morning. Winds expected between 10 and 20 miles per hour. A couple of clouds rolling in this afternoon with a high of 72 degrees and an overnight low of 52 degrees. Temperatures begin to increase Tuesday through Friday, hitting those high 70 degrees, getting a small taste of summer. Those temperatures will begin to come back down Saturday into the mid 70s and back to the mid 60s on Sunday. Time for your business update sponsored by the NAB Show, where content comes to life. The Las Vegas Valley was the 30th fastest growing metro in the country last year. Now, this is according to new data from the U.S. Census Bureau. Last year, the valley added a little over 14,000 new residents, a 0.6% increase over 2022. The valley's total population now sits at 2.33 million, up from 2.26 million in 2020. And check this out, the English Hotel is set to expand next year. The Boutique Arts District Hotel is set to add another building across the street from its original location and will have 120 hotel condo units. The units are a mix of studios, one and two bedrooms with kitchens and in-unit washers and dryers. Construction should start by the end of this year and take 12 months to complete. Sports brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. The Golden Knights rallied back against the New Jersey Devils to defeat them 3-1 in their St. Patrick's Day matinee at the T-Mobile Arena. All goals in the game were scored in the third. The Devils struck first. William Carrier tied it up, scoring his first goal since returning to the lineup after missing two months due to an upper body surgery. Jack Eichel broke the tie with William Carlson adding on insurance. The Knights play their next three contests at the T-Mobile Arena and will collide with the Lightning on Tuesday at 7 p.m. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. UNLV medical students learned where they'll take their next steps in their journey to become doctors. 
Check this out. Medical students across the country, including UNLV's Kirk Kirkorian School of Medicine, held their match day on Friday for the class of 2024. They learned where they'll go for their residency training for the next three to seven years. First, it just comes with this, and I couldn't find where it was. And then I turned it around and was just so excited to find out that I got my number one at Kansas City. UNLV says 61 of those students were matched with programs in 18 states across the country, but 57% were matched with programs here in Nevada. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Scar Shop. The 2024 NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament will get underway this Tuesday with a pair of play-in games. The Howard Bison are the three and a half point favorite when they meet the Wagner Seahawks, who are plus 135 on the money line at BetMGM. The total is 127 and a half. Next, Colorado State is a one and a half point favorite when they face Virginia, who are plus 110 on the money line. The total is 118 and a half. In Lifestyle News brought to you by Casablanca Hotel and Resort, St. Patrick's Day was celebrated through various events across Las Vegas Valley over the weekend. The annual St. Patrick's Day Parade and Firefighter Challenge Games took place on Sunday. It was presented by the Professional Firefighters of Nevada and occurred on Fremont Street and Main Street in downtown Las Vegas. On Saturday, the Southern Nevada Sons and Daughters of Erin presented its 56th annual parade and festival at the Water Street Plaza in downtown Henderson. The three-day event featured entertainment, vendors, food, Irish whiskey tastings, and carnival rides. In entertainment sponsored by Arizona Charlie's as live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. And one superstar hopes to make a gradual return to the stage. Review Journal's John Katz-Silamitis has the details. Celine Dion says she is determined to get back on stage. She most recently reached out to her fans on her social media account on Stiff Person Syndrome Awareness Day on March 15th. She was shown in a pose at K1 Speed with her sons, Renee Charles, Nelson, and Eddie, making that very statement. Celine remains optimistic that she can return to the stage and so do the people at AEG Presents at Resorts World who are holding out hope that maybe this year or even in 2025 Celine will be able to perform once more. Thanks for watching 7 at 7 and if you're watching from YouTube don't forget to subscribe to Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content including Las Vegas breaking news streaming live. We'll see you tonight for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.